Hey guys, how are you today? So these are a couple of drawers out of my wooden drawer units that are actually that way behind where the camera is on my table up against the wall. Um, each unit has three drawers in it like this and it's all full, the whole thing's full of tape, different kinds of tape, but all full of tape. Um, some couple drawers of washi tape, one drawer of like book binding tape, one drawer of like metal tapes, and then I had two of these drawers full of washi tape. Now, this drawer used to look like that drawer. <laughs> just, it was just shoved in there. I love washi tape, like all of you all, I'm sure. And I'm kind of amassing a bit of a collection. The problem is when it gets to be like this, you can't find anything. I didn't really want to change out the system that I have, the drawers work. Um, so I needed to figure out how to make them work better. I also, uh, take a few medications, um, blood pressure medication among one of them, not that you need to know that. Um, I have my medications packaged by pill pack, uh, for a lot of different reasons, which we don't need to get into it for this video, mostly though that because I can't remember to take them otherwise, and pill pack nicely puts the date on them for each packet that I need to take each day, otherwise I forget. Anyway, they come in these clear plastic, these clear boxes. And this box comes in a really nice cardboard box, which I also have been saving. I'm going to have to do like Shannon, though, and Shannon Green. And when the space I have them in is full, I have to stop saving them. That's going to be hard. But anyway, I was throwing these clear plastic ones away, and then it dawned on me I could use these to make inserts for my tape washi tape drawer. So I took one of these boxes, and I sliced it in a half and then I reconfigured it and taped it together and used a couple of scraps from the boxes to make some tabs and I made these little trays that fit into my washi tape drawer so I have one here on the bottom it doesn't have any tabs on it because it doesn't really need to have them it's going to stay on the bottom and it's full of the tape and I can quickly at a glance see what I have and I have some like tall things that are over here I could put more tape there and then the upper tray has these little tabs on it so I can easily get it in and out and it's got the rest of the tapes in it. So I'm going to show you how I did that because um, I have to still do this drawer. <laughs> and uh, let's do that. I also, um, these are kind of, um, these were the first ones I did, like the demo one. And I just put them together with packing tape. So the one thing I'm going to do is cover um, the whole thing where it's attached to each other and reconfigured with um, duct tape because I think it's a little more sturdy. So let's move this one and this one out of the way. And the first thing we're going to do is cut our pill, back, pill pack box in half along the sides. So uh, about three inches. Three, it's three and an eighth to be technically accurate. So we're going to do like one and a sixteenth. Approximately. You don't have to be exact. This is a drawer insert, so you know, it doesn't need to be exact. It also doesn't need to be very high. When I did the first one, um, I cut it a little bit taller, and it doesn't need to be that tall. If you don't have too many like plastic boxes, whatever packaging that you're using, um, you know it just needs to be tall enough to hold the tape rolls in, and without having them roll all over the place. So once I have two opposite sides marked, I can sort of connect the black dots on the other two sides. cap on that so I don't like get sharp yellow over my hand, right? Alright, let's cut along the black line. I think when I did this before I did it with scissors. You could definitely use scissors if that's what you have. And like I said, don't worry about being straight. It doesn't, you know. I, I don't know, I guess if you're really particular then you would worry about being straight. I'm definitely a, uh, if it's close enough, it's a good enough kind of girl, so. So I'm okay with it if it's a little wonky.
and I saved up now I have I have an extra one of these boxes so if I mess up I have an extra one this part's thick let me get some scissors it might be easier I think I used scissors last time wonky tab on this side too so let's cut that all right so the first thing I wanted to do was um, fix this but we also have this little hole here I want to cover up so I'm going to take take a scrap of plastic from the box up the hole. There we go. We need to um, okay here's one of the ones. So we need to if I put just these two side by side it's too big for the drawer. So I need to cut this down. And honestly, I did the first one, which is in the bottom of the drawer. And then to do this one, I did just this with the first one, and I just lined it up. And then I marked um, this box. I actually want to do it this way, I think. Yeah. And then I just marked it like low tech, no math. I don't have the brain power for lots of math, so it's not going to happen. And then just cut across because otherwise, this is going to be too big. Okay, and then you want to put this one with this one. Right, and we want to tape it together so that the whole thing will stay together. I told you, low tech, low everything. I love pill pack because they put my vitamins in with my medications, so I don't forget to take anything anymore. Plus, they send it in this really great packaging that I can reuse. And even the little envelopes of pills come in. I've used them before, like in my journals, to create little pockets. It's very cool. All right. So now all these little things need to be taped. Tape, 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 and more tape. There we go. 
got one more over this way. There we go. Now we have an insert for our drawer. So you need to make two of these and one will go on the bottom and one will go on the top and on the top one I'd recommend putting a couple little tabs that way you can lift it up to see what's underneath. Um, and then what, um, yeah that's perfect, okay so then my idea was to take some of my duct tape, which I don't have nearly as much of as washi tape, but that's okay. I don't have any more room for a duct tape. And I was going to cover the sides. I thought this would just make it a little stronger, make it, you know, last a little longer. And again, this isn't to make it look pretty as much as to make it stronger. So, you know, if it's not perfectly straight, I'm not really too worried about it. I don't have that upper arm strength I used to. There we go. Alright. So then we just need to clip the corners. And this will this will strengthen it a lot. I'm going to run one across here. There we go. And so now that's nice and strong now. Now if you wanted you could put some here too. I don't think you really need it because you have it on either side and across the bottom. I would definitely though on this one like I think I'm going to cover the tabs with duct tape. So then before I make the next one I'll show you. So the fun. this is the fun part. <laughs> oh, It's always fun. Just dump out the duct tape everywhere. Put these over here. I'll move this one. The other thing to, I need to do is I need to see because I have some duplicate tapes, so I need to see what I what's up with that. So then you can just line your tapes up. Now you can do them by size. When I, the first time I did this, I didn't do that because I was just in a hurry to get the drawer clean. I do have some of this like scotch brand which is like scotch tape um, and it actually doesn't cut, doesn't tear, it cuts. I've been using it at my desk so I've been finding a few of these and I'm going to pull that out. There's another one. And you just fill your whole box up, your little tray up that you have. with your tapes. You can see them easily. So much better than the way it was just jumbled in a drawer. So much easier for me to find tape when I want to use a piece of washi tape and not just continually using only the ones that are on the top, which is part of the problem. I evidently really like that, that tape too because I have some in this other drawer over here. Once I get all these drawers made, I'm going to go through everything and kind of put like tapes together. So then that fits right in there. And I can put spare tapes, like, like duplicates, like this one, um, down here in the side. So I'm going to make another um, one of these, and I'm going to cover all them all with duct tape, and I'll be back in a minute.
drawers are all nice and organized and neat and I can find everything and there's a little bit of room to grow back there I like that I did find some tapes that I either had too many duplicates of and although I like them I don't like them that much <laughs> um, or um, I don't like them at all so um, and now I can't get this back in here okay wait okay always when they can turn the camera on right so I have some so I have some tapes to purge and I also was going through stencils the other day and I have um, the full set of Andy Skinner stencils from DecoArt because I'm one of the DecoArt artists and um, I'm in their helping artist program and um, I have these that are extra and these are ones I purchased before I became a deco art um, helping artist. So I'm um, starting a box here that I think is going to be a giveaway box at some point. Um, it may be a purge box but I don't think so. I'm gonna, it's gonna be a good long while. It'll be until after Christmas before I do anything with it. In the meantime I'm gonna still clean things and toss stuff in here and um, yeah, it might be a, end up being a bigger box, but I'll let you all know. So, but in the meantime, I got some extra tape. All right, I think that's it for right now, and I'm gonna go have some lunch because it's about that time, probably past that time. All right, don't forget that all of my contact information is in the description uh, below, along with my Etsy shop, my email address, uh, my website, all of that stuff. I have a new newsletter on my website you can sign up for to get monthly tips and updates. There's a lot of stuff coming in the works, changes coming for 2016. And um, if you want to send me happy mail or you want to send me some products to try, uh, my PO box is also in the description below. Leave a comment on the video. I will be sure to get back to you. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and uh, like, share, and subscribe. And have a great week. Don't forget to have a great week and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye.